In 2004, about 2 kilometers south of the town of Shipka, Bulgaria, in the locality, Svetitsa, the team of associate professor Dr. Georgi Katov discovered a unique gold mask of a Thracian ruler. The golden relief mask was discovered by Dr. Kitov's wife, Diana Dimitrova. The mask, made with many details, weighs 690 grams. It is the most massive found in the Balkans and is made of 24 karat gold. The Thracian burial is from the second half of the 5th century BC. It has been suggested that it may have belonged to King Teres. Teres I was an Odrysian king. Born probably in the second half of the 6th century BC. He is the father of kings Sparadoc and Sitorchus. He managed to expand the lands of the Odrysians and create a vast and powerful kingdom. At the end of the 6th century BC, Teres embarked on a military campaign to the northeast, taking the lands of the Getai along the way and reaching the Danube. There he faced the invading Scythians from the northern Black Sea region, but it did not lead to an armed conflict. Relations between the two countries are settled through diplomatic channels. Teres married his daughter to the Scythian ruler Ariapetus, and the Danube River was defined as the border between them. After 478 BC, fought against the Tinians, seeking expansion to the south to the Thracian Chersonies, but was defeated. After 465 BC, fought successful battles in the southeast, capturing the lands between Byzantium and Salmidesos. Teres died about 448 BC, aged 92. His son Sparadoc succeeds him on the throne. The golden mask of Teres is in no way inferior to the famous mask of Agamemnon, its discoverer, Drive. Georgi Katov, 1943-2008, liked to say during his lifetime. According to experts, the jewellery craftsmanship and elegance of the unknown Thracian master really originated with the art of the goldsmiths of ancient Greece. That is why the unwavering interest in drive. Kitov's unique find and the temp expedition speaks for itself. As soon as the world learned about her, the Golden Mask of Teres shone on the covers of a dozen world archaeological magazines. Among them are the official edition of the American Institute of Archaeology, Areology, Minerva, a magazine that is published simultaneously in London and New York, etc. Even Greek publications which are generally skeptical of Thracian culture and civilization, devote whole pages to the discovery. Dr. Georgi e. Katov and the archaeologists found the priceless treasure on August 19, 2004 in the Thracian mound, Svetitsa, a few kilometers from the town of Shipka. Even in the very shallow, in the dirt of the open brick grave, the amazing find shines. It turns out that the gold mask is made of pure 23.5 carat gold and weighs a whopping 672.5 grams. Several golden masks are known in world archaeology, from Mycenae, Elada, Tibonisht, near Lake Okrad, and Sindos, near Thessaloniki. However, they are all made of thin gold foil and their weight is incomparably less than that of the mask from the saint. 
Dr. Kitov's companion in life, Diana Dimitrova, a member of the archaeological team, was the first to glimpse the brilliance of the golden find. The mask was found where the head of the burials should have stood, face up, sandwiched by a large stone slab. This fact, as well as its shape, make Dr. Georgi Katov, a connoisseur of Thracian culture, make a curious assumption. According to him, the mask was most likely used as a file. The ruler lifted the file mask with his hands, drank the wine and put it on his face. It was only natural that this transformation should inspire awe in his subjects and guests. The first bronze Queres armor discovered during excavations in Bulgaria was also taken from the Thracian mound, the saint. It is completely preserved, following the outline of the human body. In the tomb, archaeologists also found several spears, a large iron sword and pottery vessels. The experts found that the Thracian mound, Svetitsita, dates from the middle and second half of the 5th century BC. Because of the priceless gold mask, they suggest that the brick tomb is most likely that of the first known Odrysian king, Teres, who lived in 444 80 BC. He is also known to be the father of the later famous Thracian ruler Sitork. The tomb looks like a scale model of a temple. Not only the form, but also the finds in it raise many questions. Parts of a human skeleton were found in the burial chamber. Bones of arms, legs, chest, lower jaw with teeth. Some of the expensive gifts were laid not whole, but in parts. All this gives reason to the researcher Georgi Katov to assume that the person buried in the saint was a follower of Orphism. It is possible that the whole body of the ruler is not buried in the mound, but only parts of it, he says and recalls the famous legend of Orpheus. The mythical singer and Thracian king gathered the men walked around the caves, drank wine on their stomachs and had fun until they passed out. However, their wives got angry, killed the instigator Orpheus, tore his body to pieces and scattered it in different places. Only the singer's head was found in a river, and despite being separated from the body, it continued to sing. The treasure is priceless. It can be used to pay all our external debt, excited Dr. Georgi Katov said immediately after the discovery in Svetitsa to the assembled journalists and colleagues. His opinion is supported by the then director of the National History Museum, Professor Bojidar Dimitrov. According to him, it is really a find with a huge historical and artistic value, which should not be calculated in numbers. But in a possible auction, the price of the golden mask alone could reach millions of dollars. In the Wonders of Bulgaria campaign of the Standard magazine, both readers and specialists were unanimous that the golden mask of Teres in the valley of the Thracian kings near Kazanlik was the archaeological discovery of the decade. They were not yet happy with the great find. Shortly after the archaeologists dug up a gold ring from the finger with an Olympian rower engraved on it as a monogram. The ring was also of extremely fine workmanship, no doubt the work of a master jeweler, 
and weighed 15 grams. According to Dr. Kutov, this is one of the largest Thracian rings found on our lands until then.